Hey guys, happy Mason Monday and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mason or at Hair by Mason on all my socials. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how I achieve these nice large knotless box braids using Outre's Braid Up Pre-Stretch Canicolon Braiding Hair. And this is in the length 56 inches, so these braids are pretty long. So if you guys want to see how I created this look, just keep watching. Alright, jumping right into it, this is what the hair is looking like out of the pack. There are three bundles in each pack, and I used about four packs per bundle. As you can see, it's already pre-stretched, which is great. And in this clip, I'm just showing you guys roughly the amount of hair per strand that I use for my braids. And I used about four to five strands per braid. So here I am just taking down my braids. My hair is washed and blow dried already. So I am just taking these braids down um, and prepping my hair for the box braids. And so here I'm just going to comb out those crinkles and make sure that there are no knots, um, you know, towards the ends of my hair. And as you can see, it's looking pretty good. So this is what the sections are looking like. And as you can see, I did do the stagger method or the train track method. Um, and so we're just going to begin um, on this side of my head, which is the left side of my head. And I just want you guys to take note of how I am positioning my hands. And so when I do my braids, I always feed in the hair every two loops. So it's going to go under my left index finger and I'm going to braid one loop and two loops and then I'm going to add another strand of hair and I'm going to add about four to five strands per braid depending on the thickness because every strand isn't even um, you know it doesn't have the same amount of thickness so I just continue to do that um, until I feel that the braid is thick enough and so again every two loops I'm just going to add another strand put that under my left index finger one loop and two loops and so I felt that the braid was thick enough and so now I'm just going to continue to braid the hair down the shaft like so. And so one cool thing about this hair is that it does come pre-stretched already so that reduces a lot of um, that prep time when you're prepping the hair so you don't have to stretch the hair out. It's already done for you and this hair braids extremely easy which I love. Um, and so here is another angle. Again, I'm just going to place that hair under my left index finger. And then I'm just going to braid one loop and two loops. And I'm just going to add another piece under that index finger. And I find that this is the easiest method for me. I've been doing this method literally since the early 2000s and that's no lie. Um, if I had pictures, I would insert some of those pictures from my old Kodak cameras or throwaway cameras. I would insert those. But yeah, I've been doing this um, ever since the early 2000s and I just feel like this actually is one of like the best methods to use because it just makes the braid look so seamless as if the hair is coming directly from your scalp. And my hair literally blends in with the weave so perfectly. So I think it's such an easy method. And so again, here's just another angle of what it's looking like just in the back of my hair. So under that index finger again, um, I am left handed. So I always feed hair in with my right hand. So I'm going to secure that hair with my left finger. Um, so again, every two loops is very simple. I'm just going to place it under that index finger and braid for two more loops. Um, and so once again, once I reach the thickness that I want, I'm just going to continue to braid it down the hair shaft. And you guys don't have to worry about that residue at the base of the braid. We are going to take care of that after this braid is finished. Um, and so again, I'm just going to continue to braid this hair all the way down using the tug method, making sure that my hair is nice and secure underneath so that my hair won't be sticking out. And so now that we've reached the end of the braid, I'm just going to get that product smoothed into the hair. And just like that, it disappears. And so this is what the braids are looking like. As you can see, they are staggered. So the top layer should always, the braid should always fall in between the lower level braids. And so again, this is another 
angle of what it's looking like. So I was trying to find the clips that had um, the best angles where you can like really see what I was doing. So hopefully we achieved that today for you guys. Um, and if you are enjoying this video or if you try this method, um, definitely leave a comment below um, and just let us know how you will rock your braids. And so again, this is what we are doing. We are just adding every two loops. It's pretty repetitive. Um, but also sometimes when I rewatch these videos, it's very therapeutic to watch hair videos. So that's why you're going to see a lot of clips and just different angles of me braiding. Um, so you can kind of see how my hands are positioned as I'm braiding all throughout my hair. Um, this is the easiest way that I know how to do it. And hopefully this will be very helpful for you guys as well. And so again, as you can see, it's very tensionless at the roots. And if you guys know me by now, I don't do tension on the hair. So now that we have reached the top, um, I'm, I want you guys to take note that I'm not going to put it under my index finger, but instead I'm putting it under my middle finger. Um, and it's just about how you position your hands. So whatever finger that is in between that second loop, that's pretty much where the weave is going to be placed. So I'm still braiding every two loops and I'm going to add a strand of hair in. However, because I'm in the front of my hair, um, that loop happened to be um, under my middle fingers. So that's the only difference um, once I got to the front of my hair. But I did want to make note of that. That is always every two loops when you add a strand of hair. And again, once I get my thickness, I just continue to braid the hair down until it is finished. And yeah, so this style took me about three and a half hours. Again, I used about four packs of this hair. And as you can see, the braids are nice and loose, but they're still tight enough to where they will last me six to eight weeks. And so I'm just going to finish. And this is what it is looking like. Of course, I had to put on some makeup and, you know, change the fit a little bit. Um, but yeah, this is what the braids are looking like. They are nice and chunky and juicy. I just feel like I look better with bigger hairstyles. It is a bit long for me, but I'm actually enjoying the length because I typically do short styles. But if you guys like this video, please give it a comment, a thumbs up, subscribe, and just share it with your friends. But see you in the next upload. Bye, guys.